on the cover of Sports Illustrated before the 91 season was a quarterback from Houston named David Klinger. Like it was a foregone conclusion that this quarterback down in Houston was going to win the Heisman. For the first game of the season, we played Boston College at their place. I scored four touchdowns. National media, I guess they felt like the Howard Kitty, she's okay. And as the season progressed, I became the front runner for the Heisman. Look at this! Desmond Howard! Howard will cut again and score! Got him! Touchdown, Michigan! First night touchdown! His redshirt junior year was unbelievable. Howard could go! Touchdown number 18 this year! Well, they wanted to get the ball in his hands any way they could. Desmond, what don't you do? You run a kickoff back, you make the diving catches in the end zone. Should we expect you to be throwing touchdown passes next? <laughs> hey, I try to do it all, anything to help my team win. You know, National TV, and they're talking about Desmond for the Heisman. Howard, he is something else. We would have liked to see a little bit more of the individual Heisman uh, out in front of everybody, but that wasn't the Michigan way. Michigan's always been known for not pushing one guy for individual awards, but don't you think that this Heisman Trophy should come up north? Michigan is always about the team, the team, the team. Never about any individualism. You know, the only thing I did was like Barry Sanders, hand the ball off to the officials, turned around, and always celebrated with my teammates. I'm from the Buckeye State. This game has huge significance. So as the season progressed and I became a front runner for the Heisman, I had like several teammates that would come up to me saying, you know, you need to do something special. I always wanted to learn how to do a backflip. And so I was actually dating this gymnast and she taught me how to do a backflip. If there's ever a time to do something special or significant, this is the time, like if I run like a go route and I catch the ball, it would be the coolest thing to like slow down and do a backflip into the end zone. There might have been a couple times he told me he could dunk and things like that, and I kind of was like, yeah, okay, I think I might have to see it. This was one of those times. Doing something unique and special for Desmond was important because it was out of the norm. It was showing a little bit of him as a person that a lot of people hadn't seen. I don't think anyone that week mentioned anything about Desmond Howard and the Heisman Trophy. We all had our jobs to do. My job was to keep the ball away from him. It's 17 to three. The three is me. I'm not trying to take the game and put it on my shoulders by any stretch, but I try to really get into this ball. I'm on the right hash. I pick my spot. The textbook rule is heels on the 10. And if it's over your head, you let it go. I'm a competitor and I'm frustrated. And I'm like, man, these dudes are really not trying to let me get a, you know, get off today. Nice high kick, got a little wind under it. As soon as I hit the ball, I knew that I hit a great ball. I probably did not square my shoulders enough to go to the sideline. What were your thoughts as the ball's in the air? I don't think I can say it. Desmond will field it and return it from the eight. When he backed up, it instantaneously said, he's going to try and do something here. I'm vested now, because if I get tackled anywhere from the 20-yard line in, Coach Moeller is going to be hotter than fish grease. As I'm looking at the putter, I'm thinking, okay, what am I about to do when I get in this end Because there's no way in hell he's about to make this tackle. I'm still in amazement that he got there before I did. Boom, I got his heel about like that. As I'm going down the sideline, I'm thinking, Am I gonna do the backflip? Yes, great time. No, I don't do the backflip. If you mess up, you're on Sports Center for the wrong thing. I said, you know what? I'm not gonna do this backflip. 
There was no backflip coming. There was no front flip. There was no flip. So I crossed the goal line. I say, but I got to do something. And then instantaneously, spontaneously, I did the pose. Very quick. And so I was like, OK, maybe they didn't catch it, so I'm going to do it again, because it felt so good the first time. Everybody started asking, did he do what we thought he did? I caught a pose here that seems kind of familiar. You know, I looked at the trophy, but I can't say that I ever really thought about doing the pose, especially in a game. And I get emotional because to see the entire big house stand up at the same time thinking we're all going to share in something that is, is just the culmination of one of the greatest seasons that has ever happened.